Hello, in this video I'll explain consumer surplus, producer surplus, and deadweight loss. In order to better understand these concepts, you can go at any time and check the previous video uploaded about supply, demand, and market equilibrium. So first, we start with the consumer surplus, and we define it. So consumer surplus is the difference between the maximum amount a person is willing to pay for a good or a service and its current market price. So here we're having the market of hamburger. On the x-axis, we're having millions of hamburgers per month. It means the quantity. On, on the y-axis, we're having the price. So if we consider at point A, at point A, consumers are willing to pay $5. However, the market price is 2.5. So the consumers, they are achieving a consumer surplus of $2.5, which is the difference between 5 and 2.5. Since the market price of hamburgers is just $2.5, the area of the shaded triangle is equal to, to, to total consumer surplus. Moving to producer surplus, producer surplus is the difference between the current market price and the full cost of production for the firm. So here we are considering the producer or the supplier. This is why we're having the supply curve. So also at point A, some producers are willing to produce hamburger for a price of $0.75. Since they are paid 2.5, they can earn a producer surplus of $1.75, which is the difference between 2.5 and $0.75. Since the market price of hamburgers is 2.5, the area of the shaded triangle is equal to total producer surplus. Total producer surplus and consumer surplus is greatest where supply and demand curves intersect at equilibrium. So at equilibrium, we reach the maximum consumer and producer surplus, also called total surplus. Finally, deadweight loss. Deadweight loss occurs when supply and demand are not in equilibrium which leads to market inefficiency. And market inefficiency occurs when goods within the market are either overvalued or undervalued. So here we're having two cases. The first case, it's the dead weight loss from underproduction. In this figure, it shows the consumption of producing 4 million hamburgers per month instead of 7 million, which represents the equilibrium. So here, the total surplus will be reduced by the area of the triangle ABC, because the point of equilibrium cannot be reached. The second case we're having, it's dead weight loss from overproduction. In fact, uh, the figure shows the consequences of producing 10 millions instead of 7 millions hamburgers, which is the equilibrium. So here, the full cost of production rises above consumers' willingness to pay. So you can compare C, which represents the willingness to pay, and point B, which represents the cost. So, he, so here we will have a dead weight loss represented also by the triangle ABC. Price ceilings, price floors, and taxes can all potentially create deadweight losses. And we will see them in future videos. Like this, we covered consumer surplus, producer surplus, and deadweight loss when we're having market inefficiency. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.